do ufos really exist if it is then why do the government of all countries hide the secret from the common people it may not be so easy to believe what the captain of japan airlines flight saw as he flew over alaska but whatever is recorded in the radar system cannot be falsified what happened when a plane is surrounded by ufos flying in the sky please stay with us to know about this shocking incident on november 17 1986 A Japan airline plane going from Paris to Tokyo was passing through the sky of Alaska. This was a flight number 1628, a cargo plane of the Boeing 747 series that was going to Tokyo to deliver Bouchelet's wine. The sky was clear and the plane was flying between the cities of Reykjavik and Anchorage in the eastern Alaska. The captain of the flight was Kenju Tirochi who had also been a fighter pilot before joining Japan Airlines. Captain Kenju Tirochi had about 10000 hours of flying experience. On that day in the flight he was accompanied by co-pilot Takanori Temufuji and flight engineer Yoshio Sukuba. Altogether there were 3 crew members on board the plane that day. Around 5:15 p.m. When the plane was flying at the altitude of 35000 feet Captain Tirochi saw two strange aircraft flying on the left side of the plane which were flying about 2000 feet below his plane For once the captain thought it might be a military aircraft For 3 4 minutes both the strange looking aircraft kept flying on the left side of the Japan Airlines flight but then suddenly both of those strange aircrafts came directly in the front of the plane and started flying flying at a distance of just 500 feet a strange kind of strong light was coming out of both aircraft pilots of japan airlines could feel the heat of the light in their airplane cockpits Due to the bright light coming from behind both aircraft, the pilots of Japan Airlines could not see those aircraft very well. The pilots could not understand what those strange flying objects were. Seeing all this, first officer Yoshio Sukuba contacts Anchorage ATC and asks if ATC has any information about those aircraft flying right in front of the plane. ATC controller Carl Henley got a little surprised to hear this and asks the first officer to repeat what did he say when the first officer tells ATC controller that there are two strange aircraft flying in the front of his plane ATC controller Carl Henley tells him that he has no information about these two aircraft flying in front of him ATC controller Carl Henley asks the pilot if they can tell him what the two aircraft look like so that he can find out if any other military or passenger planes are flying in that area pilot tells atc controller that he is not able to recognize those aircrafts he can only see the light coming out of those aircraft which looks like some white and yellow color hearing this The ATC controller tells the pilot to keep an eye on both those aircraft and keep informing the ATC tower about their movements. Those two aircraft which were flying on top of each other suddenly started flying side by side. None of the pilots had seen such an aircraft in their entire career. With surprise and panic, the three pilots were keeping an eye on those aircraft. then suddenly one of the aircraft quickly disappeared on the other end of the sky the aircraft flies so fast as if the sky itself has swallowed it the pilots were still trying to believe their eyes then suddenly the other aircraft also vanishes in the other corner of the sky with the same speed 
Due to surprise, nothing was coming out of the mouth of three pilots and they were just looking at each other as if they were asking each other whether it was all real or a dream. The pilots were still thinking about the two aircraft when the captain saw a third light which was flying at a distance of about 14 km from them. The pilots tell the ATC tower about the third aircraft but the ATC controller tells the pilot that he still does not see any other aircraft on the ATC radar. The captain tells the ATC controller that this third aircraft is very large in size. The pilot of Japan Airlines was now getting very nervous and he wanted to get away from that big UFO at any cost. So the captain sought permission from the ATC tower to change his route. The captain told the ATC controller that he wanted to turn in the heading 240 direction so that he could get away from the UFO as quickly as possible. Seeing the urgency of the situation, the ATC controller immediately gave permission to change the flight direction. After changing its direction, the Japan airline captain reduced the height of the plane from 35,000 feet to 33,000 feet. But that UFO was still following them. After knowing all this, the ATC controller advised the captain to change his direction again and turn in 360 heading direction. After the Japan airline changes direction, the ATC controller asks the captain if the UFO is still following them. The captain looks around through the windscreen of the plane, but that UFO was nowhere to be seen. Seeing this, the captain takes a relief breath and tells the ATC controller that the UFO is no longer visible. But the radar of nearby Air Force Station detects the UFO is still chasing the Japan Airlines. Staff at the Air Force Station call the Anchorage ATC Tower to inform them that an unidentified aircraft is still following the Japan Airlines. Soon after, the ATC controller calls the Japan Airlines captain and informs him that the UFO is still following him. The ATC controller calls the Air Force Station and asks if the Air Force can send a fighter plane to help Japan Airlines. The Air Force Station staff tells the ATC controller that he will talk to his seniors and try to send help to Japan Airlines. When the ATC controller gives this news to Japan Airlines captain, the captain refuses to take any help from the Air Force by saying that he would like to wait for some more time so that the UFO goes away on its own. After this, the ATC controller tells all the flights flying in that area to keep an eye on it by going to Japan Airlines. A plane of United Airlines passing through there tells the ATC controller that it has reached the Japan Airlines, but it does not see any UFO or unknown aircraft in the sky. Till then that unknown UFO had suddenly disappeared from there. After the disappearance of UFO, Japan Airlines continues its flight and landed safely at Anchorage Airport about 6.20 am. Immediately after this, this news spreads in newspapers and TV channels around the world. Japan Airlines captain tells in an interview that, that unknown aircraft was a UFO. The airlines does not like the captain giving information about UFOs to the media without the permission of Japan Airlines and they immediately remove the captain from the pilot's role and puts him on a desk job. However, after a few years, Captain Kenju Teroche is taken back on the job of pilot again. After the news comes in the media, the FAA team of Alaska region asks its division head John Collin what they have to say to the media about the UFO. John Collin tells FAA Alaska not to talk to the media about this incident right now. 
After this, John Collin informs about this incident to Vice Admiral Donald E. Vice Admiral Donald E examines every piece of evidence related to this incident, like radar images, plane voice recordings, etc., and asks FAA not to leak any information related to this incident in the media. Under a thoughtful plan, all the information related to this incident is hidden. After this incident, the news of UFO sightings by the pilots came twice again. The first news came on January 29, 1987, in which the pilots of Alaska Airline Flight 53 talked about seeing UFOs. The second news came the very next day of January 30, 1987, in which fighter pilots of USA Air Force KC-135 Flight 53 talked about seeing UFOs. How much truth is there in all these incidents? And are the government agencies deliberately hiding something? We cannot say this, but we all hope that if there are people outside this world, then they should become our friends and not our enemies. If you liked our video, please encourage us by clicking on like and subscribe button. We are really grateful to you for your kind cooperation. Thanks a lot.